Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another perfume haul. Um, yes, yes, another one. Um, so basically, um, the reason I picked up these fragrances, um, so the first two actually, Holt Renfrew was having a sale on these fragrances from Anique Utal, um, and I just could not pass up the sale. Um, so much so that not a lot of the fragrance, fragrances were left. I did manage to get these two. I managed to get my hands on these last two. Um, so this is actually a blind buy. <clears throat> these are expensive fragrances and um, I don't know why I did that, but I did nonetheless. So I picked up these two from Guttal. I mean, so far I've had a very good experience from Guttal. I think I only own the one fragrance but i love it so i just thought you know what let's just let's just see what these two are about They're, they seem to be very popular fragrances from the house so um yeah so i picked up um i did pick up a 50 ml of the bois d'adrienne and then a 100 ml of the nuit Etoile. now I didn't realize this until after, but basically um, the pink boxes. So for the most part with any Gutal or Gutal as it's known now, um, sorry, my hair, ugh, as in my past videos, terrible, sorry. My baby hairs are popping out and they just, I just can't deal with it anyways. Um, so basically, um, most of the fragrances from Gutal are unisex fragrances. Um, and so what they've done, and they've been doing this, I think for a long time, is they make the same fragrance, but sometimes they'll put the fragrance in different bottles that lean the bottles themselves, lean either, um, more feminine or masculine, but the scent is the same because, um, I guess everyone has a different aesthetic anyways the pink boxes are the more feminine looking bottles which whatever that means we'll unbox and see together and the blue ones are the more masculine looking bottles so let's go ahead i got bois d'adrien in 50 ml nuit de Etoile in 100 ml both are edps um these were the last sizes i could manage to pick up otherwise i most likely would have gotten like a 50 ml but only 100 mils of this one was left so let's go ahead and unbox let's start with Wada uh, de Adrian. okay so it looks like this how do you open this oh oh it slides oh that's cute you know i usually don't keep bottles oh it has a little thing here written in french oh i kind of want to keep this bottle now because it's just I mean the box because it's so pretty and this is aha so this is the more feminine looking bottle whatever that may mean so this is what it looks like okay so let's go ahead and spray that and uh, talk about it I'm going to spray it in the box just because I do have quite a few fragrances today and I don't want to get confused on my um on my skin um so we'll spray it on the inner part of this box since this, this comes in like two sections. Very odd, I've never seen a, a box like this, but okay. Okay, so we'll go ahead and spray the box. This is, it's quite woody, uh, fresh, citrusy. Okay, let's look at the notes. That's what I'm, my first impressions of this fragrance are um okay in the okay there's no tear or it's just notes okay um so the most prominent notes in this fragrance are lime pine and cypress so it's probably why it's very like woody and fresh i don't know oh there's lime yeah i was like there's something citrusy about this yeah um this the vibes that i'm getting from this is the similar types of vibes I get from, if you've ever smelled from Dior Escal, what's, what was it called? Escal, um, uh, it's the Brazilian one, Parete, Parete. It's one of the Escal fragrances that's in Bra the Brazilian one. I think it's Parete, um, if I'm 
pronouncing that correctly. Um, this is very elegant. It's like a very strict lemony type of a cologne. It almost smells like a cologne. Um, this would suit perfectly for like, I see like a very serious businesswoman. Um, it's very like cold, you know, um, but fresh. Um, this, this is definitely good for a powerful woman, you know, someone like a, a highly successful career woman. This is, yeah, it's elegant and cold and that's the vibe I get from this fragrance. Now, is it really my style? No, but I think I could play around with this. This, this is one of those fragrances that you just have to be in the mood to wear. But I mean, I'm not like, oh, yuck, but like I, I can definitely picture the woman that wears this or the man. Yeah, so that's that. That's Bois d'Adrien. I don't know if I should put it back in the box or not. <sighs> you know what? I'm not going to keep. I like the presentations that are like, you know, they have like a little thing that this one's not really that. So I'm, I'm going to toss this box, but that's the beautiful bottle. Okay. Moving on to the next one, we have Nuit et Toilette. This is supposed to be the masculine bottle, but the same fragrance regardless. Same thing, it pops out like this. Oh, and there you go. So as you can see, it looks like this. So this is just a comparison. These are the feminine bottles and the masculine, even though the scents, I mean, these two scents aren't the same, but they don't, the scents don't change for the bottles even. Like It's just a matter, matter of preference, I guess, um, if you have like an aesthetic, but I don't, I, I mean, I guess this does look a little more feminine and this does look a little more masculine but oh yeah and this one has like some floral details this is just the plain label okay so this is um nuit et toile um i'm gonna also spray this in the box now the boxes do have some writing i wonder if it's just a standard thing or if it's specific no it's standard they just write the same thing on the boxes. So I was thinking if it is specific to the fragrance, I might have kept the bottle by box, I mean, but I won't since it's just on every Gutal box. Okay, oh no, I'm not gonna spray it in this one because this one has a little window opening. We'll spray it in this one because it's closed. Oh, this um, color of the box is beautiful. Now that I've taken it out, it's like a Tiffany, Tiffany's blue box. Anyways, okay, go ahead and spray the, um, the box. Done two sprays. So this is also a woody mm, fresh fragrance, but I would say this is definitely a lot greener. The first fragrance is a lot more citrusy. Okay. Put the cap back on. It's not a magnetic cap, but okay, let's talk about the notes. In the top we have mint, orange, and citron. In the heart, we have, is it pine tree? Pine tree, fir resin, iris. In the base, we have immortal, angelica, and amber. To me, this smells like from Guerlain, their Aqua Allegory line. There's um, a fragrance called Herba Fresca, I believe. Yeah, that's what this is giving me. Um, this is refreshing. I feel like this is definitely a lot more wearable than the first um it almost smells like a spa like um like a i'm getting a spa kind of vibes from this yeah and i feel like any gender could wear this for real this is not i don't think it's particularly masculine or feminine leaning yeah like a spa you know yeah okay let me compare the two sorry Yeah. In terms of preference, I think I do prefer this one actually over the first one, to be honest. But I feel like if I'm in the mood, I could definitely wear this. Um, yeah. 
those are my two new Goutal fragrances. Definitely very different than my original Goutal fragrance that I have in my collection so far. But um, this is an interesting house. I definitely um, want to smell more from this house. Okay, so that is what I got from Home Run for that I just couldn't pass up because these were honestly like these were almost like if if not 50% off, like they were, that's how good the sale was. And they're very expensive to begin with. So I really didn't want to jump on that. So um, be on the lookout if you um, do have that sale um, near you. Okay, moving right along. I did also pick up a few fragrances from Sephora. I know, what was I thinking? I just did a big, huge fragrance haul from them not too long ago. Um, now, the reason I decided to go was because they had an offer that if you spent like $75, you got like 500 bonus points and like 500 bonus points is pretty much like $10 off. So I just thought, okay, is there anything I need? And oh, this is what I came across. This is the one that I thought, oh, I do need this. So this is Love Story from Chloe. You know, I had a little sample of it and I really liked it. And I just, I was so hooked on it and I said, okay, I really want a full bottle. That's how I, how much you know that I wanted it. So I said, okay, if some sort of a sale comes up, I'm going to get it. So I did. So this is um, Love Story by Chloe. So let's unbox that together and spray it. This is not a blind buy because I've smelled this, but this is the first time I'm going to be smelling this particular bottle. So let's go ahead and open that. I've actually already undid the cellophane, loosened it up a bit for you guys so that um, it wouldn't... Oh, what does it come with? A little... Okay, so the little ribbon uh, has a... Okay, and then this comes with a little booklet with an embossed Chloe. Love that. I was just... Oh, it's just instructions on how to how to open the... Yes, this is a very interesting bottle top. Um, so yes, I appreciate the instructions just so I don't damage it. And it comes in all sorts of languages and it's really cute. Look at that. How cute. Okay. So it says, push the ring backwards by 90 degrees, pull the cap off to remove and spray. Okay. Let's see if we can follow those instructions. This, I would like to spray on my skin today. I have shorter sleeves, so I would like to maybe spray it in the crooks of my elbow and kind of see how it does. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous bottom. Chloe never disappoints. Okay, hold on. Let me properly follow these instructions. Pull the ring backwards by 90 degrees. Did I do that right? Mm -hmm. Pull the cap off. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray that. Oops, there go my boxes. Okay. This is very floral. It's got like a citrusy kind of a thing going on. It's also quite green. I feel like this is the theme, but this is definitely the most citrus, but it's definitely got a citrus green kind of a quality, much like the first two fragrances. But this is definitely very floral. I mean, as you would expect from, from Chloe, it's, it's their signature, right? Um, okay, let's talk about the notes. In the top, we have bergamot. In the heart, we have orange blossom and plum blossom and nest, nest. I don't know, some, I'm sorry, another fragrance note that I've never heard of. And then in the base, we have white musk. So um, this one is very similar. Actually, um, it's a fragrance I just smelled recently in store um, to Maison Margiela Flower Market. Because um, I, I guess it's a very floral, but um, it feels like I've just sunk my face in a bouquet of flowers. That's what this smells like. Um, and I really like that, like a, a very beautiful bouquet. Um, this is flowery, clean. I feel like this is safe, a safe blind buy even. It's, it's very feminine, not like the first two fragrances. Um, but this is fresh, this is clean. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. That's how it would, and that's, you know, how would you describe like most um, Chloe fragrances? So if you're a Chloe lover, this definitely does not disappoint. 
I knew I had to have this because of the sample that I had and, and how it worked with my skin chemistry. So definitely encourage you to check this out. And I love bottle. Gorgeous. And I wonder if this one's gonna rust like the original Chloe, because that one's silver. This one looks like gold, so I don't know. Okay, so there's that. And then, so while I was at Sephora picking up this one, I came across, and this is the thing, I've seen these sets come up time and time again, but these little sets that they come in, I already own the fragrances, so there's really no point. But this time, I came across a set with two fragrances that I've been really wanting, but I couldn't justify getting a big bottle, so I was happy enough to find these sets. And I feel like Versace does this the most. So, I've already unboxed it, uh, sort of, because it, it's kind of like a double box, because it comes in a set of two. So, these two guys came in a set together, and I've, un I've taken them out of that box, because I was like, this is going to be too much unboxing. But I've kept them in their, these boxes, because I'm going to share these with you today. These are blind guys. I'm sure I've smelled these maybe in the past. I don't know. But um, yes, yeah, so Versace, usually they have these sets of two. Um, they're both five milliliters. They're like the mini versions, like the mini bottles of the big bottles. And um, they're $25. And I always see a set that's, I believe, uh, Versace Bright Crystal and Dylan Blue. Those come up all the time. And when I saw these two come up together, Eros Parfum and Crystal Noir, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get it because I have been dying to kind of have these in my collection, but I couldn't really justify getting the full bottles. Anyways, maybe if I love them this much, I will, but I thought this was a good way to um, try these out um, a little more extensively than just like a little sample, you know? Like this is, this is a good size. Um, and it's good for your travel purse and things like that. So without further ado, let's unbox these minis and try them out. So let's start with um, Crystal Noir. Put it over here. So it's weird how they're both five milliliters, but the boxes are quite different sizes. And I think it's because of the cap of, of the Crystal Noir. Now I wonder, okay. So this is the Crystal Noir. So these are, I believe, are not sprays. They're just dabbers, which is fine. Um, so this is like legit a mini version of the big bottle. So let's dab it on the wrist. And then we shall, we shall see. I don't wanna, you know these ones, you have to kind of be gentle when you pull off the cap. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the top here and dab it on my wrist. I don't know if I, I might need to dab this thing. Okay, there we go. So I got a good amount there on my wrist. So this is a very warm fragrance, much, I wouldn't say spicier than the rest. The others are spicy as well, but this is, the others are more fresh. This is definitely a warmer fragrance. And this, I smell like a little bit of coconut, I would say. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about the notes of the Crystal Noir. In the top, we have pepper, ginger, and cardamom. In the heart, we have coconut, gardenia, and orange blossom. In the base, we have sandalwood, musk, and amber. I really love this. Um, this is definitely similar to uh joan malone has a fragrance uh what is it called dark amber and ginger lily that's the one um i feel like they have a lot of the similar types of notes um but this is complex sexy beautiful um i think this would be great for maybe the fall this would be a good fall fragrance um I think the fresh ginger, the ginger definitely smells fresh in this, even though it's like kind of a warm fragrance, but I think um, it complements the um, the floral, floral notes in this. And I think it's sexy. There's a bit of woody notes there as well, but this is like very elegant and alluring. Yeah, that's what, how I would describe this crystal noir. So I'm pretty happy with that. I will continue to wear this. And 
if I feel it necessary, I may get a full bottle, but you know what? Sometimes I think these minis is pretty much all you need, especially if you have a, a large collection. And if you're looking for, you know, for it to be like display nicely on your vanity, this is a go-to. Or if you're starting a collection, this is, these, are a, these are a good way to start. Okay, so last but not least, we have Versace Arrows. Cute bottle box. <laughs> Let's see what the bottle looks like, although I'm sure you've seen it. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, you know what? The bottle, this mini does not, I mean, it, it's like a, it is a mini version of the big one, but the big one I think is much nicer, but I don't think they could have, they couldn't replicate it in a mini because the, the big one has like a lot of gold, not just on the cap on the actual bottle. This bottle is just all glass with like the Medusa head. Okay. So we'll put that on the other wrist. <laughs> and then we will smell it together. Yeah, you know what's weird about these? The caps are really dry, like you gotta really, whoop, okay. So I put a good chunk there on my wrist. Let's submit it. Ooh, this is very citrusy and woody, but unlike the other scents, which again, common theme, this is a lot muskier, and I do appreciate that. Um, let's talk about the notes. In the top, we have lemon, pomegranate, and bergamot. In the heart, we have lemon blossom, jasmine, and peony. And in the base, we have musk, umbroxan, and sandalwood. This one kind of reminds me of Gucci Premier. And I don't know if it's, sometimes you associate like when bottles look similar, like it's got like a gold kind of a look and so does this, but I don't think so. This really does smell like Gucci Premier to me. Um, I feel like sexy is the best word to describe this one. And I know I said this one was sexy, but this one is, I think, more sexy. And um, it's like an urban glamorous. It's a modern scent. And I feel like this is a, would be very easy to wear at any time. Um, it's luxurious, well-blended, and it's... Yeah, like the sandalwood and the white flowers in this, very nice, very nicely done. You know, I was reading a lot of reviews or I don't know if I was watching maybe some reviews on YouTube and people were saying that this is quite boring or that it smells like a lot of other like Versace fragrances. I mean, just like Chloe, the Chloe fragrances, they all kind of similar, smell similar. I feel like this is the same with like the Versace, the House of Versace. They have their DNA, um, but I really like this. I have to say out of all the fragrances, I might like this the most actually. Like this might be in the running for maybe getting full size. You know, if I run through this bottle and I just can't live without it, I will do it. But um, I really like this. So this, I mean, you know what guys, that's the thing about skin chemistry. You gotta try it out. Like there's so many fragrances that I wanted to love because I heard great things and it smells wonderfully on other people and I smell it and I hate it on myself and vice versa. There's fragrances that I never thought I would like. I spray it and I'm just intoxicated with how it like melds with my skin chemistry. So you gotta try fragrances up. These are a good way to get to know fragrances. And you know, I had a sample and I ended up getting the full bottle of this. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you if you made it this far, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.